Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna do something <laughs> really casual and just play around with some new makeup because my life is crazy right now. <laughs> um, my filming setup is crazy, my makeup is crazy, there's stuff everywhere, and I'm just trying to get some stuff together before the fall season. I feel like every season's kind of like a new cycle and I kind of like to clean house and get everything ready for the new season and I'm in the middle of that but I want to sit down and film a video so we're gonna just do this very casual setup today back in my bedroom. I had moved all of my filming equipment and stuff down into our sunroom in my house so that I could film down there because the lighting is so much better and it's much quieter as a loud car goes by. Um, so I moved everything down there, but I just wanted to do something really, really casual today and just kind of sit and chill and play with some makeup. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to just dive right in because there's a lot of stuff I want to play with and I'm really excited. So first up, I have like all, everything in like this little bag. First up, we're going to start off with the primer and I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. Um, I've been hearing really good things about this. It blurs, primes, protects, color corrects, and it's anti-aging. I've been hearing so many things about this, and I finally picked it up. Lynn had like a... Things are falling over. <laughs> Lynn had a coupon on Tatcha's website, so we kind of did an order together. Whoa. Oh, the little spatula. Um, and I picked this up, but it comes in like a wrap. Crazy. Oh, the packaging is beautiful. So I'm really excited to try this out. It's basically what I'm getting at, but my brain is just spacing out right now. So I've felt this in the store a few times, but I've never actually used it on my face. So we'll see how this goes today. I'm just going to take like the tiniest little, little bit. I just scraped off that much. I don't even know if you guys can see that. There it is. I'm just going to apply this in the area where my pores are the most prominent. I have no mirror right now. I did not plan this very well. Wow, maybe that was too much. Seems to be blending nicely. I don't know if this is like something you're not supposed to rub, but I just, I can't help myself. So I'm just going to rub it into the skin. It's definitely smoothing out my skin. I hope this doesn't cause any like irritation or anything. My skin, as you guys know, is super sensitive. That feels really nice so far on my skin. It doesn't feel like drying at all, which I feel like sometimes a lot of like pore filling or smoothing primers can be a little bit drying on my skin. It also smells really, really good. So far, so good. Uh, definitely really like this. I like how it feels on my skin. I hope it makes my makeup sit nicely and I hope it doesn't cause any irritation. But we're gonna move right along and I need to find a palette that has a mirror because I have no mirror. So next up for foundation, I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, foundation stick. I had never used this before, and then I bought it during the Sephora sale, so I'm really excited to try it out. And then I also have the new Sigma F80 Air Flat Kabuki. The original Sigma F80 is one of my favorite foundation brushes, so when I saw that they were kind of coming out with a new version and kind of revamping, the old one still exists, but this is just like the new like buffer brush. Um, I had to have it. Sigma still has some of my favorite brushes. I really like Morphe brushes, but I just feel like the quality of Sigma is a little bit better. So I do really enjoy their brushes, but it just looks like this. Hmm. Let's try it out. So I'm in the shade Y245 if you are interested, and I'm just going to start applying this to my face. So this foundation is actually something that I have used a few times now, and I do really, really like it. I like that it's lightweight on the skin, but still gives you good medium to full coverage depending on how much you use. I had been on the search for a full coverage, medium to full coverage foundation that wasn't going to clog my pores or irritate my skin. Um, I have very sensitive skin, you all know this at this point, and a lot of full coverage foundations kind of would tend to not sit well on my skin and just cause like a lot of buildup and a lot of gross stuff. So I kind of stopped using a lot of like medium to full coverage foundations and I over the summer I was only using skin tints and tinted moisturizers, which was great and I still love them. But every once in a while, I do want something that has more coverage. So I picked this up and so far I've really, really been enjoying it. Hasn't caused any irritation. It goes on so nicely. That blended out so easy. I also really like this brush so far. 
So I've been really loving this. This is my, my new favorite foundation right now. I did go to a concert and I brought this and I wore this foundation and I did apply two layers because I wanted it to be a little bit more full coverage than medium coverage and it actually did wear really nicely but that's not something that I would do very often. Probably just for like special events and stuff. So the primer looks pretty good. It didn't like cause any like pilling or anything which I wasn't sure if it was going to do that or not. Foundation looks really good. I already know I really like that. The brush was amazing. It blended in so easily, so easily, and it like doesn't look dry or anything on my skin. So for concealer today, I'm going to be using the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer, and I have this in the shade 3. Uh, this is a little bit, this matches my skin perfectly, um, but I think I do want to buy a, one of the lighter shades as well for when I want to like brighten. But again, I've used this concealer a few times so far, and I really, really like it. It gives you like nice coverage. Now it's not full coverage at all, but it gives a nice amount of coverage and it just blends in so seamlessly with the skin. Like it looks like you're not even wearing anything. But I think for the winter when I'm like at my palest, I'm definitely going to need one of the lighter shades and I'm definitely going to purchase it because this concealer is so amazing. And that is the concealer blended out. It goes on so easily, so effortlessly. Like I've really been into <laughs> the kind of minimal, easy makeup recently because I've been kind of lazy, things have been crazy. So I've been really, really enjoying this. And it looks so good on the skin, it looks so natural. And it does give good coverage, but I mean, it's definitely not full coverage. Like you can still see a few bumps here or there. I don't mind so much that it's not like full coverage because I like my skin being able to peek through a little bit and not feel suffocated so I'm gonna go in with powder and I'm just gonna use this hourglass a diffused light powder I hit major pan in here and I've been trying to use it up I have a project pan coming up in a soon video <laughs> um, I've been really trying to focus on for the next for the end of 2018 really focusing on using up makeup that I have and not purchasing a lot of other stuff <laughs> I just feel like I have so many products that I love but I don't really use because I'm always like, oh, what's new? What's coming out? What's so? I really want to kind of cut back, kind of live a little bit more minimalistically. I've also been thinking about starting a series here on our channel that's a little bit more lifestyle based and kind of um, exploring some lifestyle things. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a like subscription, a few subscriptions that were more lifestyle, like the Billy Razor and the Vitamin one, um, and I really liked reviewing those for you guys, and I thought they were really interesting, and they're actually, the Billy one is like one of our most viewed videos, um, so I've been thinking about doing more stuff like that, kind of more lifestyle based, more maybe more subscription boxes, maybe some other types of things, if you guys are interested, or if there's anything that you would like me to review, definitely let me know down below. I have a pretty exciting thing that I found that I think is going to be really, really fun to review for you guys. I also want to do more fashion stuff just because I've been following a ton of more fashion bloggers recently. I was never really into fashion that much um, just because I'm really bad at putting outfits together <laughs> normally, but I've been following a lot of like inspiration blogs and I found a few bloggers on Instagram that I really like, so I'm kind of thinking about maybe doing some more fashion-y stuff, maybe like a series of like outfits for people who aren't good at putting outfits together because that would have been really helpful for me. Anyway, I digress. Let me know if those things are interesting to you guys. We're going to move on. I have, I'm trying to decide if I want to do eyes or face, um, but first, while I'm deciding, I'm going to pop on this Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil, and this is in the shade Honey Glam. Mmm. Wow, that tastes so good. I mean, don't eat it, but... Mmm, that feels really nice. Did it add any glow? A little bit of glow that's really really nice if you like moisturizing lip things I wouldn't really call this an oil it's more of a lip balm uh, definitely check these out this is really nice but moving on <laughs> I think I'm gonna do eyes and I have like four new palettes sitting in front of me I think only four right yeah so these are my four new palettes <laughs> I have the covergirl true naked chocoholic that is what this looks like. I wanted to start doing more like cool toned purpley looks and I thought why not start with like a really cool drugstore palette kind of to ease myself in. So I picked this up. 
think at Target. I'm not even really sure. And I haven't used it yet, so that's an option. I also have the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. I literally could not find this anywhere for so long, and then I finally found it in our CVS not too long ago. I feel like it definitely has more summer vibes, and I haven't used it yet, so maybe I should use that today. But it looks really, really pretty, so I'm really excited to try that. I also have the ColourPop Soul Palette, which again, is kind of like very similar to the Maybelline palette, but with more like oranges in it. Ooh, don't want to blind you, sorry. So this is the Soul Palette. Ah! And then I have a very controversial palette, and this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Armed and Gorgeous palette. I actually have the Dark Matter palette as well, but I've used that one already. Um, so yeah. And that, this is what this looks like. Definitely more of a fall palette. So, I don't know which one I want to use. I might use the Lemonade Craze today, and then let me know if you would like to see any other videos on any of these palettes. These right here. I was going to do a whole Jaclyn Hill review on these. I picked up two palettes, and then we also bought a vault for a giveaway. But now there's so much controversy around them that I'm not really sure what to do. <laughs> I still kind of want to do the video, but would you guys still be interested in a giveaway with the vault, even though there's so many, like, you don't know if they're going to be good or not? Um, I'm kind of a little sad about that, but, I mean, I've used, I bought the Dark Matter palette at Ulta, and I've already used it, and I didn't have any issues with it, but I know a lot of other people have, and I haven't used this palette yet, so I don't know, but... Maybe I'll still do a dedicated video to this, and then you guys can let me know down in the comments if you would like to still see a giveaway with the vault. Movie. I'm going to take this NYX brush, and I'm going to dip into the shade Sweet Tea, which is the shade right here. And I'm just going to apply that in my crease as kind of a base. I don't really know what kind of look I'm going for. I'm not doing anything today. I'm literally just going to finish cleaning my room and take some photos. So, yeah. I'm just going to focus this mainly on like the outer corner and then also kind of sweep it up into my crease. The shade is actually really pigmented. I wasn't expecting that. What are some other YouTubers you guys watch here? I really, really love um, Jamie Page, Alana, Samantha Ravendahl, Raw Beauty Christie, Kathleen Lights is a good one. Although I feel like I'm kind of growing out of her content a little bit because I like more of a well-rounded beauty guru. <laughs> I like someone who's going to talk about lifestyle, who's going to talk about fashion, who's going to talk about makeup, skincare, um, and I feel like Kathleen really only focuses on makeup, which is fine. I still love most of her videos, but sometimes I just want a little bit more. I still love her. I still love her videos, um, but I definitely find myself gravitating towards other YouTubers a lot more now. But let me know what some of your favorite YouTubers are. I definitely need some new ones in my subscription list, especially because there's so much drama going on in the beauty community. I feel like it's not even fun to watch some of these bitty, bigger gurus anymore because everything is just so blown up and just, I wanna come here and have fun, forget about my work life and my daily struggles. And I just wanna talk about makeup. And I feel like it's really hard to do that now. Okay. This shade is really nice. I really like it. I kind of blew my corners out a little too much, but whatever. So next I'm just going to go deepen this up with the shade Old Fashioned on the outer corners. And then I'm going to pop the shade Sugar Coated on my lid. These brown shades have been really nice so far. I actually really enjoy this palette. Okay, so now I'm just going to use my finger and take sugar coated, which is like this bronzy shade, and just apply that to my lid quickly. And that's my finished look. <laughs> Not very revolutionary at all, but it's okay. I do really like this palette. I think the shades that I used were, all three of them, were really great. I do really like it so far. I'm interested. I want to swatch this yellow and see. Okay. Yeah, see that was a little, you can't even see that. So I can understand if you were buying this palette just for that yellow and you were very disappointed with that. 
Um, but I think the rest of the streets, especially the ones that I used, uh, were very nice so far. Definitely have to keep playing around with it because I did only use three shades. But I definitely like it so far, so uh, I'll definitely let you know if I use it more, if I have any more thoughts. So next up, I'm going to use bronzer, and I have a new bronzer in my life that I love. <laughs> this is the Lila B B Sunkissed Bronzed Beauty, and I've used this a few times, and I'm obsessed with it. I actually got sent these products because I reached out to the brand. I'm starting... <laughs> okay, so <laughs> as you guys know, I do a lot of freelance work, and one of the main things that I love to freelance is photography, and since starting the blog, I've uh, had this love for product photography so I'm trying to build my portfolio and reaching out to brands to see if they'll send me product to photograph uh, so that I can put it in my portfolio and Lila B actually sent me these products to photograph for them um, and I was really excited and this is one of the products and I freaking love it it's so good it's a very like natural bronze but it looks so flawless on the skin But it just has like this gives us like effortless bronze look like it's just so easy to apply it just goes on so nicely and it's literally the only bronzer that i've been using uh, i've only had this for like about a week or so and it's already like getting dirty i feel like i need to go purchase a backup so that i can have it like sit on my vanity all nice and clean so that was bronzer if you like a very natural looking bronze on the cheeks I would definitely recommend this product. There is only one color, so I don't know how well this would work for like deeper skin tones, which is kind of frustrating. I wish that they would come out with more shades, but the shade is definitely good for like fair to maybe medium skin tones. I think it's really beautiful and the formula is really nice and it goes on so nicely and it just like looks very flawless and very even on the skin, so not patchy at all. So I've been really, really enjoying this product. And then next up, I have a product from Flesh. I went into Ulta and I had to pick something up because I've been hearing so much about it. And this is the Highlighting Balm in Twitch. Uh, it's just like this bronzy highlight. I got this shade. I wasn't really sure because the lightest shade looked very iridescent and then the other shade was going to be too dark. I don't know. We're going to see how this works. It should work on my skin, but I don't know. So I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones. Once you blend it out, you can't really see the pigment at all. That's actually really pretty. You can kind of see it on my cheek, but it kind of blends into the bronzer, so it's not horrible. Um, I really, really like this formula so far, actually. It reminds me a lot of the Glossier highlights, but I wish there were more shades. The formula is really nice. It blended super easily. And it does give you a nice like natural glow again it's more of like a dewy wet kind of glow a balmy kind of glow and not like intense highlight but that's kind of the look i've been going for recently more like fresh and natural um again reminds me a lot of the glossier one i'll have to do like a comparison video on the two if you want to see that let me know okay so what do we have left? Oh, I'm just gonna run some brow gel through my brows quickly. This is not new. I haven't been really doing anything to them because they're super bushy right now. I'm just using this Benefit 24 hour brow setter stuff. I normally use my boy brow, but it's currently downstairs in my photography setup because I'm doing some glossy eight pics. All right, so the last two things I have are actually both from NARS. I have the new Climax mascara, which I've tried before and I absolutely love. This is like my third time, third or fourth time using it. I can't talk really while I curl my lashes, so please excuse me. So this mascara is really nice because it has like this giant wand. It was a little intimidating at first, but I actually really like it because it grabs pretty much every lash that you have. And it just adds a lot of volume at the base, but as it goes up the lashes, it kind of just elongates the lashes and doesn't make them any like clumpy or anything at the ends. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. So this is one eye with the mascara and one eye without. As you can see, it definitely adds a little bit of volume at the base and then really makes them very long, which is what I like in my lashes. Let me see if I can get a better angle for you guys sorry i'm like sitting on the floor like my eyelashes are almost touching my eyebrow i love that 
All right, I'm gonna do the other eye quickly and then we'll move on to the lips. So here's both of my eyes with one coat. I love this mascara. I think it looks so good on my lashes. Um, the way I find it works best is if I kind of like wiggle at the base and then go up. If I wiggle it too much at the top, it does get a little clumpy, but I try not to do that. That's just kind of what I find works best for my lashes with a lot of mascaras. I don't know. Is that a common thing? Am I late to the party? Let me know. So the last thing I have to try out for you guys are these NARS, what are these? Power Pack Lip Kit in Warm Nudes. That, that's the color. I have been searching for this everywhere. I saw someone wear the shade Hot Blooded, I think, in an Instagram picture. Who was it? It was an Instagram person, fashion blogger, and she wore Hot Blooded in an Instagram photo and it looked so good on her. And then I found out that it was only in like this limited edition kit, of course. And I literally searched everywhere for it. You couldn't get it on NARS, couldn't get it on Sephora. Finally found it at Ulta and immediately ordered it and I'm so happy I did. So that is the shade we're going to be using today. But the, the two shades in this kit are Get It On and Hot Blooded. This is Get It On. It's just like this like nude, this like neutral pinky nude. And then this is Hot Blooded, which is a little bit more orangey. Uh, red nude-ish. So I'm gonna be using this one today because I'm so excited to use it and Please, you know bear with me as I try to apply this to my lips because I suck at putting lip products on So uh, this is the shade hot-blooded. It looks way more orangey red on camera than it does in real life um, But it is a really beautiful color and I love this formula. It's super lightweight but still matte and not like doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere So I really really like it and that lip oil still feels really nice underneath and it actually made it so easy to apply. Uh, really love the shade. Sorry, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder. I'm really excited to keep playing around with these. I need to see what other colors they have in this formula. I know they have like a whole range. Um, these are the Power Matte Lip Pigments. Um, so definitely need to check more of these out, but I really, really like it so far. So that is all the new makeup I had to play around with today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what kinds of content you want to see coming up. I definitely want to try to do more like fun things here on our channel and kind of do more fashion, do more lifestyle, uh, do more things that I'm interested in. Uh, but let me know if you guys have any recommendations down in the comments. But thank you again for joining me today and I will see you in our next video. Bye guys!